Hey, well, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Monday, about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I thought I'd come up and make a video up here and uh, tell you about some of the things that happened this week. Um, beautiful day. The uh, AQI is like 14. Nice and cool because it's in the afternoon. But uh, we had some things happen up here this week and I wanted to tell you about and I've got a pretty cool story to tell you as well. Anyway, I'll turn the camera around so you can see where we're at. I got up here the other day and you talk about getting lost. I had never been in this area before that I knew of. Anyway, we'll walk down this street and see where we end up. Hello. Swati Cop. I don't ever remember walking down this street. I'm sure I probably have. But I got messed up out here in the car. And uh, I ended up over behind um, Chiang Mai Gate Market. And I just ran out of places I could drive and I had to back right out. Back out about uh, three or four hundred meters. And uh, luckily there was nothing coming. It wouldn't have been bad on the motorcycle, but on the car it's really hard to, uh, to get around. But anyway, one of the things I want to tell you about, and it's really kind of sad, they had a uh, one of the clubs caught fire in, outside of Bangkok. And uh, they, uh, a lot of people couldn't get out, and I think there were 32 injured and 14 killed. And it's the second time that's happened since I've been here. Wow, that looks like a neat little alley. I'll leave that for another day. We'll walk up this way. But, um, yeah, so they're starting to, which is good, they're starting to crack down. Now, I don't know where this will take me. Oh, that may just go around or into a dead end back on the other street. I'll keep walking this way. But, uh, yeah, it's really, really sad. But I have been in those places. When I came here in, I think Lick, came, Lick and I came in 2006 and she took me into Bangkok to one of the nightclubs that was uh, down and underneath the hotel. And you had to go down a flight of stairs and walk through the doors. And uh, it was just mobbed with people. And you know, I never thought about it then, but I don't remember ever seeing a way out. And uh, had there been a fire, it would have been a trample to the door. Let's see where I'm at here. I don't believe I've ever walked this area before. I may be wrong. Here we go that way or that way. We want to get away from that music. We'll walk this way and I can go up and come around to the other side. Hello. Oh, vegetables. Bananas. Banana. Sour banana. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just sad. And uh, as I understand it, the place was licensed to. Uh, hello. Oh, pickle. Yeah. Pickle. Yeah. Wow, it was licensed to serve food, but it wasn't wasn't a licensed club. So who knows what what they'll do? Oh, this is a neat little area. I don't think I've been back in here. I'm gonna go down this way because I'm just curious. But uh, anyway, the story I want to tell you. That came in my room the other day, and uh, she's a big tick. Talk freak. She'll sit there and watch TikTok for hours and scroll through those things. And uh, you know, I, I'm good for about five or ten minutes. Oh, it's a dead end. I'll walk down to the end, see what this place is. But uh, she'll scroll through those things for for hours and hours and hours. When there's no football games on or you know nothing on TV to watch. I don't know what this is. Huh. Oh well. We need houses back in here. We'll walk back out and go back out to the right. 
But uh, anyway, she comes and she tells me, there's a lady on TikTok and she's trying to find her husband a Mianoi. Not just one, she's trying to find three. And I said, what? So she's explaining it to me. Apparently the, the lady made a tick, has a TikTok channel and has made quite a few videos. And uh, her and her husband, they own a very successful business renting out trucks. And according to the, let this motorcycle get by me. A little country store in here. Hello. Pretty neat. But according to her TikTok video, she uh, was having problems keeping her husband happy, or she felt like she was. And uh, she was advertising for three helpers. And. Oh, the uh, the prerequisite. We'll, we'll walk down to the end of this one too. The requirements were you had to be between a certain age, and I think it was 18 to 35. You had to have a college degree, and you had to be HIV tested. Short of that, if you uh, if you fell in between that, you were you know you're in the in the ball game. And she went on to explain that. Uh, she wants somebody to take care of the kids and help her with invoicing, uh, take care of the house, and take care of the husband. And she also went on to say that there wouldn't be any uh, there wouldn't be any problems with her as far as who he slept with. He could sleep with whoever he wanted to, and that uh, you know it, was, it would be up to him, and there wouldn't be any uh, ill feelings between anybody. And the my wife tells me the uh, the TikTok community went wild, <laughs> and there was something like 2,000 comments and people wanting the job, and uh, just went crazy. And the news media picked up on it, and they went out and talked to her because everybody thought it was just a way to, you know, boost her TikTok channel. But uh, according to her, no, it wasn't. And they talked to the husband, and the husband, I guess he was a little bit embarrassed. And, he just said, you know, oh, she's a good woman. I'll, I just, her and I got to have a little talk. And that was all he really said. But uh, apparently she was serious. And uh, I read another article today and actually saw a picture that uh, they had, oh, that cat's just loving it. Hey, buddy. He's got the perfect spot that they've actually found somebody and, and they're not looking again. So I guess they settled for one rather than three. But I thought it was funny. And uh, hello. I just, you know, I thought it was kind of comical. And I think the, uh, the video, the TikTok video has been taken down. I'll look for it when I, before I uh, put this video up, if I can find it and link to it, I, I will. But it was kind of cute, but they, uh, the TikTok community just basically went wild, you know. <laughs> Who knows? I guess to each their own, you know, it's kind of a thing here. That not so much anymore, but, you know, if you can afford three wives, you can have three wives. Uh, I know my wife wouldn't stand for it. I'd have a problem. Hello. Hello. Wonder what's down here. I know I have not walked this area before because I don't ever remember seeing this stuff. Here's an apartment that looks like somebody was making and it didn't quite make it. Blinking red light. Yeah, I got back here in the car the other the other day and I, it was terrible. Uh, thankfully, I've got a rear a reverse camera on my car so I could look at the camera to find my way out of here. 
and I had to back out quite a bit. Wow, that's really beautiful. I love the way they fix some of these gates. This is the Ban Khan Jit. Huh. Beautiful. Beautiful guard back in there. But, uh, so I don't know, you know, I don't know how it'll work out. I think it'd be kind of awkward, but, you know, who knows? Now that's interesting. He's got a, mo got a motorcycle parked right there. That must be for show, definitely for show. Yeah, it's a mo motorcycle shop or something. I don't know. Huh. Wow, I know I've never been back in here. Got a bicycle up there. And you got an empty field right here. Interesting. This is really an interesting place. Turn the camera off for just a second. Okay, we're back started again. And we're coming to the back of a temple. Hmm. I know I've never been back in here before. Never seen this. We'll go this way. But uh, Lek talks about her grandfather, and apparently her grandfather had you know, three or four different families. Um, so it's, it's not an uncommon thing here. It's beginning to be unacceptable, uh, but it, it, still, it still goes on. But uh, I thought it was kind of funny, you know, she goes to TikTok to make that, and, and uh, just wild, you know, you see all kinds, you hear, you hear and see all kinds of wild things here in Thailand. But uh, to each their own. Wow, that's neat. And I think we will go out and go to the right here. I think. There's barbed wire on that fence. What's back in here? Hmm, just somebody's house. Well, how far are we? We just went around in a big circle. We'll walk up this way. Figure out where this comes out at. That yeah, beautiful house back in here. I love that teak wood. See where the pigeons have made nests up in there. But I foresee that, yeah, and they're already, you know, we go back to the, uh, the nightclub, they're already starting to go in and check these clubs out in these bars and uh, make sure they're not over capacity, capacity and that they've got their, uh, their exits marked real well and they're open. There's con conflicting stories. They, they say there were two fire exits at the rear of the building, and they've had three or four people come forward and say that those doors are, were locked, and uh, they're always kept locked. And the, some girl has come forward as kind of the manager, and 
she's saying that they they were definitely not locked and you know they're always kept open so you know who knows uh, they'll figure something out yeah we have been through here because there was a guy that through this way we have we'll go right here because i know this will take me back out on the street there was a guy that tried to give me a hat here one time This is an interesting house. Hmm. Villa Klang Wiang. Wow, that looks really nice. Hey, kitty. It's okay, buddy. I don't know what this would be. It looks like little rooms. Huh. All kinds of stuff tucked down these little alleys here. Pai residence. Gord Chiang Mai. Hmm. Now I'm going to see if I can't find another little alley to walk. Things are really starting to pick up here. Uh, it's five o'clock now, so you, you know you're getting a lot of school traffic. But even during the day, it's uh, it's pretty busy up here. Let's see. I think we'll keep walking straight. There's a Tropical Inn. Sounds like an ankle biter. Yeah, you see, I don't know where this, all that leads back to somebody's house back there. Drawings, yeah, some pretty art in there. Usually when you get on these roads back here, if you head east or west, you'll find your way out, uh, or north and south, and just kind of stay on the road that you're going. They all take you to the edge of the moat. But uh, where you run into problem, and this is where I ended up back in here somewhere, where you end up a problem is, is when you get to the end of the road and the road's real narrow, you can only fit one car through. And uh, you get to a point where you can't go any further. And the only thing you can do is, is back out. Wow, there's a nice bug. I remember seeing that before. It's been in one of the videos. Now I think we'll go to the right here. I think. No, actually we're gonna go this way. Beautiful temple back in there. <laughs> we'll just walk through this part of the in front of the temple so you can see for those of you who haven't seen it before. And that's the name right there. I'll get it so you can maybe get that on your phone. But we're going to walk out here and go to the right because that's where I ended up getting... I mean, I got stuck bad.
Or maybe it wasn't here. Maybe I went to the left. I can't remember. Oh well, but I'm going to go to the right here. Those little jugs are of liquid there, our fertilizer. When we, uh, we lived in the other house, in the same move bomb we had rented a house. And, uh, wow, these, yeah, it's right in here, in, through here where I got lost and twisted around. But anyway, we rented a house and there was a, a lady next door and she used to keep those things on the fence. And oh, they stunk that really really bad but that's what it was she was fertilizer for her garden and like good neighbors you never uh you never complain to your neighbors about anything it's just not uh it's not a good thing to do because you'll never get your way and then from then on from there on out you'll be damned so you just kind of live with it Fortunately, where we are not right now, we have excellent neighbors. Um, we've got a couple that live on one side that uh, he works for an oil company. Bananas, 35 baht. Hmm. And uh, she works for SCB Bank. Really, really nice people, nice and quiet. And then on the other side, we've got a young couple. He drives a, for Grab now. He did something else before. Yeah, we'll go left here because this is where I got lost. Or let's say I didn't get lost. I got stung and had to back out. But, uh, and then they, they have their, their mother and father living there with them and they're real quiet. The only thing they sometimes get in late at night and they'll be cooking in the back and uh you know we can hear them banging their their nonprit but you know everybody's got to live so you know we just kind of kind of go with it and you know five minutes they're done and you know we're very rarely are we ever asleep by that time wow that is neat that's some kind of steel structure in there i don't know what it is and I can't really see and I don't want to really pop over the fence. Oh, huh. interesting. Yeah, I had to back out of this road. I got all the way up to the market and uh, couldn't go any further. Pretty neat. Cafe garage. Huh. Whoa. Everybody's coming back from the market. Hello. Yeah, I was able to get as far as here, and there was a truck parked right there, and he wasn't going anywhere. And. Uh, I had to back all the way back that way. Huh. That's interesting. I've never seen one of those before. Smart safety zone. Press one. Talk to, oh, you can talk to a police officer that way. 
That is so cool. I like that. Huh. Those things are going to start popping up around the city. That's the first one I've seen. They are definitely doing their best to uh, make sure that people come here and have a great time. That is really neat. That's the first one of those I've seen so far. And with that new app, if, you, if you're coming here and you haven't, un uh, you haven't downloaded the, uh, the app that uh, the tourist police have, it's called iAlert. Uh, you really need, you really should do it before you get here and just get it programmed into your phone. It's a no big deal. They're not tracking you. But if you get into a jam, you, all you have to do is open up that app and just tap the screen and they know where you're at and uh, they'll generally call you within just a few minutes to figure out what's going on. And then if you need help, they can get to you pretty quick. Uh, it's really... Uh, You know, it's, it's, re it's really a good thing. I don't know if they have apps like that in the United States yet or not. I'll have to ask some of my friends. Now, let's see. Okay, I know where we're coming out now. That is some good art. I think I know where we're coming out. Yeah, I know exactly where we're at. Wow. Okay. We'll go this way and walk out to the gate and turn right and get out of here. Hello. I want to thank everybody that subscribed to the channel and left comments. Uh, I really appreciate it and I enjoy reading them. I, uh, I'm always interested in what you have to say and, and uh, you know if you have time on a Saturday night I think I'm not sure what time it is in the United States but we do it here at, at 8 p.m. on Saturday nights we have a live stream and uh, it's usually a lot of fun you know you can ask any kind of questions you want as long as they're they're not have they don't have anything to do with the few ta areas that are taboo Wow, there's a happy dog. What a cutie. I gotta stay away from this music. But uh, definitely drop in, at least drop in and say hello. Now, I think we'll try to get on the other side of the street here and I'll try to show you a little bit of food on the gate. They're just, they should all be set up right now. I can get across the street without getting run over or even walked in the street. Bees are going after the sweet stuff. Yeah, we'll get down here to the crosswalk. Try it that way. Yeah, that old mob of people up here. Everybody's getting their food to take home.
These people do this every day. Man. And they're always smiling. That lady's got a big old smile on her face. I bet she's been pushing that cart probably most of her life. good idea of the traffic that you run into here at five o'clock. There's your sushi. There's more food set up down here. Get on the sidewalk. It's starting to get a little bit hot. And there's your soy milk. Little buns. <laughs> Chicken, two kinds of chicken, hello. And your noodle here. And your fried stick meat, hello. Well, that's going to about wrap it up. I appreciate everybody that's uh, lasted this long. It's kind of a kind of a long walk, but uh, we saw some neat stuff. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping in, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.